Well, in just over 24 hours from now, Title 42 will be expiring in the U.S. The COVID-era border restriction policy had made it easier for border agents to deport migrants. So when Title 42 lifts, border sites are expecting the number of migrants trying to cross into our country to jump dramatically. And we want to provide you with inside coverage of this nationwide issue. KCRA 3's Ty Steele, Andrea Flores, and Maricela De La Cruz just arrived at the border today. Starting tonight, and over the next few days, they will bring us live updates as Title 42 lifts, sharing the stories of the men, women, and families seeking asylum and looking at the impact on border cities. And we can show you what it looks like at the border by San Isidro, that's just outside of San Diego. The government estimates that in total, about 150,000 migrants are already camped out in northern Mexico, with more likely heading to the border. And in Sacramento, some local organizations are preparing to help migrants if they arrive in the capital city. Case Area 3's Michelle Bandour spoke with some agencies working to make sure if the migrants do come here that they will be ready to assist them however they can, Michelle. Yeah, that's right, Golston and Edie, the Sacramento Food Bank and other agencies that we spoke with today say they really don't know how many migrants could end up here in our city, but they say no matter the number of people who do arrive, they would say they want them to feel welcome if they decide to stay here. The work never ends as volunteers constantly stock the shelves at the Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services Warehouse. We really won't know the impacts for quite some time. It doesn't matter how many migrants may arrive in the capital city. Kevin Buffalino says the Sacramento Food Bank is ready to help. We don't know what the numbers are, are going to be, um, but we want to ensure that we're able to meet the demand no matter what it is. The food bank has been securing donations to help the growing population of food insecure residents for a while now. He says last month they served more than 300,000 people. That number has tripled since before the pandemic. We're in a position to be able to help. We're ready for that increased demand and, and we've been preparing, as I said, for, for quite some time. We put out the call to action and we hope that the community will just, you know, rise to the occasion. NorCal Resist is also preparing for migrants who need help. They set up drop-off bins at local businesses like this one at Barrio's Bakery for donations of clothing, hygiene accessories, and non-perishable items. Volunteer Giselle Garcia says they're also trying to secure housing now. A lot of times it's a, you know, call to the community. Hey, you know, we have a family of four. Do you think you can either house them with you or do you have a connection to housing that we can explore? No matter how many arrive, the nonprofits are ready and waiting to welcome the migrants. Thankfully, we have had a community that has always kind of sprung into action alongside with us. And both organizations also offer free legal immigration services so the migrants can find a path to citizenship while here. Reporting from Oak Park, Michelle Bandour, KCRA 3 News. Michelle, thank you. So again, a lot will be changing in the next couple days and weeks, and we wanted to bring you live updates on this nationwide topic and the impact here in California. Ty Steele and Andrea Flores have arrived in San Ysidro, just north of the border, hours before Title 24, 42, that is, lifts. The countdown is on to the end of Title 42 here in the United States. It's about 30 hours away, May 11th, tomorrow at midnight. Title 42 will be lifted across the country. And there's a lot of confusion, not only here at the U.S.-Mexico border in San Ysidro, but also in Texas as well, where a lot of migrants from different countries, including Ghana, India, Turkey, Costa Rica, Colombia, just to name a few, they are coming to the border thinking that they're going to be able to just cross through and, and tie. That's not the case. No, that's not the case. And a lot of confusion, not only for migrants seeking asylum, but also for Border Patrol agents themselves. We caught up with this Border Patrol agent right at the wall, and he told us when we asked him what's going to happen when Title 42 lifts after tomorrow, and he said, we don't know. We don't know what to expect. We are prepared, but we don't exactly know what we're going to see to assist this 
expected influx of migrants. The U.S. government has sent 550 troops, mainly from the Army, but they're going to act in a non-law enforcement capacity, helping with data entry and warehouse support. Another 950 troops will come at the end of the month. And we know at least 100,000 migrants have already attempted to cross the border just within the last few days. We also know from local shelters and humanitarian aid organizations that they're at capacity. They are stretched thin when it comes to resources. Some of those shelters have tripled in size over the last few months. So the situation here is dire and a lot of folks coming here without any information. A lot of them saying that they don't feel like the U.S. has properly informed them of what they need to do when they get to the United States. No one knows exactly what's going to happen. We do know there's an estimated 155,000 migrants in Mexico along the U.S.-Mexico border and another 28,000 in border protection custody as we speak, speaking to those overfilled, overfilled capacities. And we are going to continue to monitor this situation in real time. We're going to bring you those updates online on our website, KCRA.com, as well as our app, which is free to download, and you can download and get those free alerts. We'll have much more tonight on My58 at 10 o'clock and 11 on KCRA 3. Back to you. All right, thank you to Ty and Andrea. And as they said, our coverage from the border is just starting. They'll be there live for us as Title 42 lifts tomorrow.